What's going on fish fam? Today I'm going to teach you guys how to rig up the Wolf River Rig. So stay tuned. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so what I have here for demonstration purposes this blue line represents my braided line, which is my main line that goes down to my reel. All right, and for braided line, I usually use 10 to 8 pound Power Pro braided line. You can use any type, suffix, whatever, Seaguard. This is the main line that will go down to your three-way swivel. All right, and I forgot to mention, but the Wolf River rig is pretty much a three-way rig. What I do next is I attach a mono filament line to my weight. Okay, so here's my weight depending on the situation that you're fishing it could be a lighter weight or heavier weight up to you now we're going to move on to your weight tie weight onto the three-way swivel i'll be using the yellow line so that way you guys can see but i'll just do a simple improved clinch knot right here i'll just do a quick one here to save us some time just snip off the tail so now we're going to tie the weight onto the monofilament line that's attached to your three-way swivel and here I'll be using the polymer knot. So this is pretty much a basic three-way rig where people, fishermen, they use it to, you know, for catfish, walleye. So now we have your weight attached to the amount of filament line to your three-way swivel here. And also your main line coming from your spool to the three-way swivel, okay? So we only have one. I love and that this is going to be for our monofilament leader which we tie the, the two flies on okay so again I'll just use a simple clinch knot or improved clinch knot whatever you choose okay so main line yellow line to the weight and this is going to be your leader line all right and this leader line is going to be your longest line and then after we have your your main leader line measured to the length that you desire well the next step is to attach a second line which is going to be for your second fly if you choose okay one thing i forgot to mention is that uh you just want to be able to be able to cast it out so you kind of want to make sure when you before you tie through a swivel you want to make sure it's uh a little distant far from your guide tip so that way when you uh, are ready to cast, it's castable, if that's even a word, all right? So hopefully you understand that. And then now we're gonna attach your main leader line, which is your monofilament line. Uh, this is gonna be your first leader, and also your longest line. So what I did was just a clinch knot to the last eye of the three-way swivel, okay? So now it's the part where I wanna measure how long I want my main leader to be. You could be as long as you want, as short as you want, um, but as for me, this is how I was taught, how my father Jeff was showing me. So next you want to measure your main leader line as to how long or how short you want. And I normally do it this way because my father-in-law Jeff, he showed me this way and uh, it works very well. So, so with the main leader line, you want to bring it all the way down to your reel and under and back up all the way to your first guide. And that's how long I normally have it. Okay, and then from there I'll cut it. I'll snip it here, and this is where I'll tie my first fly, okay? So this is what makes this rig unique, uh, where we attach the second fly. And um, this is why it's called the Wolf River Rig, uh, instead of the basic three-way rig, because we tie a second leader to the first leader, and normally we'll use gulp or minnow, but with this, we use hand-tie flies to catch walleyes. So you wanna measure from the distant from your weight, maybe an inch or so, and you want to form a loop. You want to create a loop on your first main leader, okay? You want to create a loop, all right? Just a simple loop like that, guys, okay? And your second leader is going to go through this loop. So it's going to go, so, you, so this is going to be your second leader. And it's gonna go through your loop 
of your first leader and give yourself some room for the tag end of the second leader. Because with that, we're going to be tying an uh, improved clinch knot. And so in here, we're going to tighten up that knot. So now with our second leader tag end, we want to pinch where we made the knot and we're going to just do an improved clinch knot. All right, so you want to go over that main leader line that's going to that three-way swivel about seven to eight times. And here I'll just do a few times. And then it'll come back, that tag end of that second leader is going to come back and go into that loop that you, where you pinched. And then you now create another loop and it's this tag end is going to go under that loop and back out towards you. And then you're just going to cinch everything tight, all right? And hopefully I can do this. I normally do this with my mouth, with that tag in, holding that tag in, but I can't do it on this camera, but here, we'll cinch it tight like that, okay? So hopefully you guys can see that. It'll pull together and it'll tighten up. And then once it tighten up, you want to make, a, for safety, for security-wise, you just want to create an overhand knot here, overhand loop, whatever you call it, and just get it as close as you can to the clinch knot you created. All right, so let's like that. And then we'll cut the tag end of that second leader. So this is what makes it unique. So you get a main leader line that goes to your first fly and your second leader line goes to your second fly, okay? And to tie a fly, you can do whatever knot you want to do, uni knot, polymer knot, okay? So there you go. That's what makes this rig unique and uh, that it's pretty much it. So guys, so I hope that video helped out a lot. If you guys do have any questions, comment down below. Give that rig a shot and see what you think. Uh, it might take a little practice. Just It's just like how you use a drop shot, just filling the bottom, make sure you make bottom contact. Um, Again, it's just uh, a very basic old technique. Uh, a Wolf River is pretty much a basic three-way rig where people use it for catching catfish or walleye, all right? So the only difference is that you're just tying the second leader line to that main leader line, which will be for your flies, all right? So uh, give that a shot. Again, the knot to tie that second leader line will be the uh, improved clinch knot. Uh, that works best for me, and that, that was how I was taught from my, um, my father-in-law. He's the one that taught me how to do the setup. Before we end the video, I just want to show you guys how it will look like. Again, the blue line is your braided main line that goes down to your spool. Yellow line, of course, is going to be for your weight. Um, you can do it for about two inches or so, depending how long you want it to be. Your main leader line, which will go under your reel and all the way up to either your first guide that's close to your reel or the second guide closest to your reel. Okay. The most challenging part was just to uh, tie the second leader line, which is my green line here, to my red leader line, all right? And the, again, these are both monofilament. I usually use a uh, six to four pound line. I don't go anything more than four to eight. It might be a little too heavy, but with monofilament line, it helps float a little bit better so you don't snag as much, but you can use fluorocarbon if you choose or cold polymer, it doesn't matter. The second leader, well, I usually just go all the way to my hook keeper, and then that's it, all right? So uh, and that way it's just easier to travel with. Uh, you can go as longer than that if you want. Your leaders, you can make it longer than, than this if you choose. It doesn't matter. Uh, you can make it shorter if you choose. A lot of people, they say that they uh, they don't use this rig because, uh, or they don't tie two flies because it gets snagged easily. Uh, but then again, you think about it, when you fish, you never know when you're gonna snag or you just, you know, you no matter what, you'll get snagged, right? So uh, it all comes down to um, you know watching where you cast. What I learned from fishing from the hatchery is that you gotta let you gotta cast it upstream and then just let the current take it, uh, let it drift. All right, and then um, if you and then now it's all about your tactical sensitivity, just feeling for it on that rod. And if it seems like it it's you know getting stuck in a rock or if it's uh, a fish is taking it, you know that's when you you react to it, okay? You'll get snagged here and there. And I have a lot of fishermen that they come to me and say, well, uh, I can't fish this rig because there's so many people in it and I just get tangled with other people's line. Now that comes down to uh, timing. 
So you, if you have a buddy fishing next to you and he casts it first and then you kind of want to wait a couple seconds and then you cast it towards upstream and then uh, by the time you're working your fly down that current or down that, uh, that river, his is already coming close to shore or coming back to him and that way you guys will avoid each other from getting tangled or uh, skinny snagged. So overall this rig is um, pretty much again just like a basic three-way rig just that you're tying two flies. Um, involves more line but people think that it will get tangled and it works perfectly uh, sometimes your second leader line will uh, twirl around your main line but that doesn't make any difference that doesn't uh, cause your second fly or your flies to swim differently um, when the fish see it they'll they'll react to it and to be honest I'm doing this video too for myself too so like when I get older and I have memory loss, you know, I can look back to this video and I'm like, oh, okay, this is how you tie it, you know? So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to click that subscribe button and that notification bell. So that way, you'll get new videos every time and uh, you'll be right on time. So thank you for watching, Fish Fan. Until next time, find a reason, not an excuse, fish. <laughs>